Welcome to the Westport Basin Parallel Relief Sewer Line Virtual Community Design Meeting. Your project manager is Walter Norwood. If you can see the chat, which I don't think the call-in users can, um, his contact information is there. His number is 817-392-5026. And the link to the project page is also in the chat if you can see that. And I'm going to pass this over to Walter. Hello, my name's Walter Norwood, as Sally said. This is the Westport Basin Parallel Relief Sewer Line Virtual Community Design Meeting. This is a design meeting. We haven't completed the construct or the, the project design yet, or, or hired a contractor to construct it. This meeting is to uh, present it to the citizens and uh, Get your input. Um, I'm also going to I'm going to do introductions today and inter, and uh, talk about the project overview, the project area, and we're going to go over some frequently asked questions. Again, I'm Walter Norwood. My email address is on the screen: Walter Norwood at Fort Worth, Texas gov. 817-392-5026. We also have the engineering design consultant from RJN, Chris Brooks, with us. And we are doing this project because the existing sewer that that serves this area is uh, needs to be replaced, and it needs to. to uh, be increased in size. The, the existing 36 inch diameter sewer will be replaced with a 40 inch, 48 inch diameter sewer. The 48 inch sewer will parallel the Trinity River as the existing sewer does. The uh, picture, if you can see the screen, shows the approximate route of the, the sewer line. It begins at Oak Forest Drive and Dennis Drive in Fort Worth, extends to the north and west along Westworth Village and to crosses White Settlement Road and State Highway 183, and it ends near the falls just south of the Naval Air Station. This map shows the, uh, the Trinity Trails which we're also paralleling since we're paralleling the river. There are uh, there are three trailheads involved. The one at Dennis and Oak Forest. The one at the Westworth Village City Hall. And the one at Pumphrey Drive. We're going to we're going to divide this project into two parts for construction. The first part goes from Oak Forest to White Settlement Road. The, the graphics on the screen show the approximate route of the new sewer line. The second part will We'll begin at White Settlement Road and continue on to the north and west. It, uh, it will cross down Sky Acres Drive and uh, follow the, the uh, city limits for Westworth Village, crossing the levee and the, the waterfall area. So this would be the second construction package after we get ready to, to take bids. 
We mentioned the trailheads at Oak Forest, Burton Hill Road, and Pumphrey Drive that are going to uh, be impacted to some extent by this project. So there will there will will be some temporary closures for the for the access from the trailheads as we pass through. We're going to try to keep those open as much as possible. Uh, hopefully all the time, but they may there may be some closures and we'll we'll provide signage and other information for when those closures are going to occur. We mentioned that this is going to be a 48 inch diameter sewer transmission main. A sewer transmission main are, are larger pipes, Fort Worth, they're larger than 18 inches, and they're designed to move large quantities of sewage that, that's collected from the smaller distribution mains to the treatment plant. Large sewer mains are also called interceptors. This main serves Fort Worth, West Worth Village, White Settlement, and the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base. If your sewer, your sewer service will not be impacted by this project. We will keep all the sewers working while we're working. And uh, there won't be any disruption in your service. So, as I mentioned, this project's still in the design phase. We expect to finalize the design and advertise for bids in 2024 for part one. And then meanwhile, we'll continue working on part two and it will bid, be bid separately after that. And we expect it to uh, begin in 2025. The construction for each part should last about 18 months. After we select a contractor for each part, we'll have another meeting, another public meeting for you to meet the contractor. We're going to host a second design meeting for part one and part two on the 22nd, this coming Monday, at the West Worth Village City Hall at 6 p.m. This will be an in person meeting. We'll bring drawings and uh, we'll be at the meeting. So you can ask us questions directly and, and see the drawings we've prepared so far. If you want to get more information about this project, you can go to www.fortworthtexas.gov. Fort Worth, Texas is all spelled out. And then you can type in the project number. This project number is 100836-100836. You can put that project number in the search bar on the home page. The West Fort Basin Parallel Relief Sewer Line should pop up. To get project updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on subscribe to this page. There's also a link to the project map and the project summary frequently asked questions on that page. <clears throat> so again, my name is Walter Norwood, 817-392-5026 and walter.norwood, N-O-R-W-O-O-D, at fortworthtexas.gov. If there are, if you observe any, any type of a water emergency, water or sewer, you can call this number 24 hours a day, 817-392-4477 and select option one. If it's a non-emergency between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, you can call the same number. The city is closed on holidays. 
You can also download the My FW app on the App Store or Google Play, and you can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks in that app, along with any other concerns you have related to the water system. There are other ways to make a report. You can text HELLO, H-E-L-L-O, to 817-835-MYFW and type in a phrase like street light out, and the request will go directly to the specific team or department for a quick response. You can also go online at www.fortworthtexas.gov, departments, communications, customer care, scroll down to the report online easily tab, Scroll through the topics and select one that fits your situation. For example, water pressure issue. Click on that, type in the street address, then follow the prompts. So that, that's the end of this presentation and we are prepared to take your questions. Okay, uh, Walter, I'm gonna unmute each of the call end users one by one. You're not gonna know who you are, but um, this is call in user two that I'm unmuting. Okay, I'm unmuting call in user three, four, and five. So if anyone has a question, go ahead and ask it. Do we have any questions? I have a comment that I was unable to get the password to work to attend this online, so I'm having to call in, so I don't know um, if other people are having that same problem or not. Um, so could you repeat the, um, our concerns are obviously water pressure and disruption of services. So could you repeat um, what we need to do like if, if we have a problem during this process? And I know you don't intend for there to be disruptions and problems, but um, there could be, life happens. And so um, if you could repeat that information, I would like to get that jotted down better. Sure. So I'm, ass I'm assuming you live in Fort Worth. Yes. You can. To report any issues with your water, you can call 817-392-4477. And that will get you okay. to, a, to a person to help you. And then the, and the, at the Fort Worth app also, we can report things that way. Are you interested in the app from the App Store? It's MYFW. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. And again, this. Oh, I had uh, a question. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I live here on uh, Sky Acres. Was it Sky Acres the uh, second part of the project? Yes, actually, uh, we are looking at Sky Acres as a route for the or for part two of the sewer line. It, okay, is is there a, a projected start date on that? The uh, the the target date is 2025. Okay. All right. I also want to comment that I also had the same issue with the WebEx. It wasn't working properly. Uh, on, uh, on Monday then, uh, you said you would have drawings of where this, this pipeline would go? That's correct. Yes. We'll, we'll be at the, at the uh, Westworth Village City Hall and we'll have drawings. Is, is there anything to share uh, online or email uh, to a, a resident? 
Um, we can send you the maps in this presentation. Actually, they're all on that project page. Did you get that link? Did you hear how uh, that? Is, is it? Uh, no, I, I didn't. Uh, I was I was trying to log on to WebEx, and I I just finally decided to call in. Okay, let me ask you one question first. Um, the meeting password is one hundred eight three six, and you're saying no, that one did not work. I'm sorry, what? Right. One hundred eight three six did not work. No. Okay, we'll have to contact WebEx because that is the correct password. So we'll do that um, in the morning. Okay, the um, Fort Worth website is fortworthtexas.gov. And it's when, once you open that, if you go to the top of the page in the search bar, just type in 100836. And that should bring up the West Fork Basin Parallel Relief Sewer Line. Great, thank you. Okay. Okay, any other, other call in users have questions? Uh, well, I, I just had an additional question uh, here on, okay. uh, on for the project on Sky Acres. Uh, when you say running running parallel with with the uh, Trinity River, is is that going along our street in our backyards? Uh, how's how's that how's that going to work? Well, the the existing sewer is actually in your backyard along the base of the levee, and the Corps of Engineers has asked us to move the sewer away from the levee, and so. The, the next closest place where we can find to move it is actually in the in the road. So we're going to run it down the road. Okay. So uh, they uh, so if it's going in the road, and you are correct, the sewer is in our backyards. I, I, I've never seen it, but uh, or any, any evidence of it. Me or my neighbors. How will each home be connected to that, or is that going to be done down the line? Well, what we've discussed is we can't connect you directly to this 48 inch sewer. But what we're what we're discussing is building a smaller 8 inch sewer. Uh, or a collection sewer and and connecting that to the 48 inch at, at a certain point. So, uh, we would build a new sewer for our main and then a new smaller sewer for the residents to, to connect to. So our backyards wouldn't be disturbed or anything like that. Right, that's correct. Well, all right. That's we may have to reroute the sewer towards the new sewer in the road. Some people may be connected to the older mains that are in the backyards. Uh, we discussed rerouting it into the street, so your okay. service line may be rerouted. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, that's until 2025. So we'll we'll tackle that when we get there. Okay. I appreciate it. Do we have any other questions? Call in user three, maybe. I don't have any more questions. I don't know what user number I am. Right now, but <laughs> I'm in the river district, so we're across the river from uh, okay. the actual action. Um, but our little neighborhood is concerned. You know, we all want our water pressure to behave, and obviously, we need our sewer lines to work. So, uh, it sounds like this will be an ongoing um, information gathering as y'all get to the next step. So, so you're anyway. in Council okay. District Seven, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, if uh, uh, Walter, can you go back to the, uh, I'm sorry, you're on the page I was going to say. I know you guys can't see it, but as he said, it's www.4texas.gov. Then type in the project number 10836. We will have this um, WebEx video linked to the page um, by end of day tomorrow, by 5 o'clock tomorrow. So you can actually watch the video when, since you couldn't see it tonight. And please share that um, with your neighborhood association members and your neighbors so that they know what's going on. You can also, uh, I think we said this, you can also attend the Westworth Village meetings. 
that is in person, as, as Walter said. Um, you can look at the plans. You can ask questions. It'll be the same presentation, but you okay. can ask questions and see it yourself. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Walter. Do you have anything else, Walter? No. Thank you for attending the meeting. And I. Thank you, everybody. Here. Thank you. Right. Good night. Thank you very much.